What do the words fun, country, mother, flood, and love all have in common? They're all pronounced with the English short U sound. Yes, that's right. All those different written vowels are pronounced the same way, with the same U uh sound. And what's more, this is another vowel sound that often doesn't exist in other languages. The short U is the vowel sound in words like number, study, cousin, brother, one, of, honey, does, enough, and front. What makes this sound particularly difficult is its seemingly random spelling patterns. Of all the vowel sounds, with the exception of the schwa, the short U probably has the most variation in its spelling, making it difficult to recognize if you've learned English with a focus on reading and writing. Its most typical spelling is one U in a syllable, like in the words just, run, study, summer, understand, public, difficult, and Sunday. Now before talking about other possible spellings for this a uh sound, let's take a look at how to pronounce it. If you're already familiar with the schwa sound, the short u is almost identical to the schwa. The only difference is that this sound is louder, longer, and higher in pitch than the schwa. The schwa sound is found in weak syllables, so it's quiet short and low in pitch. The short U is produced in the same exact place in your mouth as the schwa. It's just a stronger sound since it occurs in stress syllables. Now here's how to pronounce the short U. Open your mouth about midway and pull your tongue back a little from your bottom front teeth, but not too much and then let everything relax, your jaw, your mouth, your lips, and even your tongue needs to relax. So let's try it together. Uh, uh. Let's practice it in some words. Fun, cut, run, number, Cousin, mother, flood, love, tongue. I often hear non-native speakers mistakenly use an ah sound where they should use an a uh sound. Therefore, they say understand instead of understand or funny instead of funny. That error is just open your mouth just a little bit too much. So you want to close it a bit so it's like this. Uh. Uh. Another common error is substituting an O sound in short U words spelled with O or OU, saying country for country, son for son, or enough for enough. Now let's say each of those short U words together. Understand, funny, country, sun, enough. Now let's take a look at some more common spellings for the short U sound. A fairly common one is OU, as in country, young, Enough, trouble, southern, touch, cousin, and couple. A single O spelling is also fairly common for this sound, as in words like of, from, mother, money, son, front, wonderful, month, Monday, 
and tongue. There are a few words that have an O consonant E spelling for this same short U sound, like the words one, love, become, above, some, and words derived from some, like something or sometimes. And then there's one fairly unusual spelling, and that's OO. The words blood and flood and derived forms like bloody or flooding are also pronounced with a short U. But this is not very common for words that have a double O spelling. And finally, here's a really common word with short U pronunciation and a very unexpected spelling, and that's what. Now please remember that other words with the same spellings we just looked at can be pronounced very differently. For example, words with OU spellings can have a variety of different pronunciations. So don't confuse this in thinking all OU spelling words are pronounced with a short U because they're not. There are words like you, should, about, house, group, south, though, hour, and thousand. And none of those words has a short U pronunciation. So you cannot rely on the spellings we've just looked at to always determine pronunciation. It's best to just memorize these common pronunciations with unusual spellings. And then when you run across other words with these type of spellings, Take a look at a dictionary or ask a native speaker about their pronunciation to make sure. Now let's do some practice sentences with the short U pronunciation. Make sure to pronounce them exactly like I do. We're trying to match the short U pronunciation, uh, but we're also trying to match the rhythm and melody of a native speaker. So make sure you're going up where I go up down where I go down, you're connecting your words and you're emphasizing what I emphasize. Number one, what country is your husband from? Number two, we studied until 1 a.m. on Monday. And number three, I had a wonderful lunch at the club with my cousin. Did you find this video helpful? If so, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe now and hit the little bell icon to be notified when new videos are posted. I post new videos on Fridays. Do you want to practice some more English vowel sounds? Then I suggest taking a look at these videos. Thanks for watching!